Even though most of the world shut down in 2020, PETA was busier than ever before, affecting immense change for animals, whether by spreading awareness of the many ways that global issues are directly linked to animal rights, exposing animal abuse around the world, or achieving more and more victories in our fight to end speciesism for good. Our campaign to end the cruel Iditarod prompted major sponsors to drop out of the race. We used heartbreaking footage from our affiliates to persuade Egypt's tourism ministry to ban animal rides at Giza's pyramids. And national retailers like Costco and Wegmans to stop selling coconut products from suppliers who use monkeys for labor. Monkeys should never be used as forced labor. Unless you give them all typewriters, they will eventually write tonight's monologue. PETA has shown again and again that millions of animals are tortured and killed every year in cruel and unnecessary experiments, such as at the Cleveland Clinic, where our recent investigation revealed that millions of dollars of taxpayer money is spent each year to torture mice, rats, and other animals without providing veterinary care or producing relevant results. But three of those rats were rescued and adopted into a loving home where they could finally receive attention and care. And through our research modernization deal and other efforts, PETA made enormous strides in pushing the scientific community to adopt test methods that are ethical and relevant to humans. We added more major cosmetics companies to the over 5,000 on our list that have sworn off animal testing, helped phase out animal tests conducted by major food companies, and got more pharmaceutical companies and universities to stop subjecting animals to forced swim tests. Our scientists even compelled Taiwan to draw cruel and wasteful experiments. Texas A&M University settles a lawsuit with animal rights activists. Our corporate negotiations team got countless companies to add non-animal items, such as vegan cheese, to their offerings. And we introduced people across the country to vegan food with our free giveaways. After completely decimating the fur industry, we retired our iconic I'd rather go naked than wear fur campaign but we kept working to spare all animals who suffer and die in the name of fashion and human vanity. Our first of its kind investigation into the alpaca wool industry prompted dozens of retailers to pull the cruelly produced items off their shelves. Within the fashion industry, there's so many huge designers that are embracing being fur free. And when it came to animals being used in entertainment, PETA's legal team continued its groundbreaking work to haul animal abusers into court across the country. Well, the Greater Wynwood Exotic Animal Park, once owned by Joe Exotic or Tiger King, is now closed. PETA has been the primary organization fighting against the roadside zoos that are featured in Tiger King. PETA has removed lions from the Oklahoma Zoo made famous in the Netflix series. Those animals are now thriving in reputable sanctuaries and are no longer being exploited and abused. 2020 may have presented plenty of challenges when it came to getting our message out, but at PETA, we never let a few challenges stop us. Instead, we got creative, coming up with innovative and unique approaches to increase our momentum even further. From socially distanced protests, to virtual lessons for students of all ages, to launching a new youth-led movement, Students Opposing Speciesism, we never stopped finding new ways to push animal rights to the forefront of public consciousness. PETA descended on Animal Crossing on a mission to get players to play as vegans. PETA staged a mural protest by adding salt bubbles to the painted pig. All of these deaths, as well as the millions of animals that died, were completely needless. Nobody needs to eat meat, dairy, or eggs to be healthy. Before the pandemic hit, the book to mark PETA's 40th anniversary toured 28 cities, including the Jimmy Carter Library, and reached over 34 million people by radio and TV. And a new documentary about PETA scientists, test subjects, won awards, and inspired PhD students to get out of the animal experimentation business. We also had to adapt the way our celebrity campaigns are produced and publicized in order to maximize exposure in a changing media landscape. So it looks as if you've got a few questions for me. Fire away. Today, I'm going to see how long I can last being locked inside of a freezer to see what it's like for dogs who are chained or pinned outside in the frigid cold. Los perros son familia. Trátalos de esa manera. 
siempre. After watching documentary after documentary, you realize you can be healthier without animals for food and protein. In order for us to try and make this world a better place, it has to start with us. I can't imagine how terribly orcas and dolphins suffer when they are trapped in tiny tanks. Sometimes it's not enough just to tell people why they shouldn't support animal abusing industries. That's why PETA works with undercover investigators around the world who can provide the sounds and images to shed much needed light on the horror that actually takes place out of public view. Live animal markets led to the 2020 pandemic and more zoonotic diseases are guaranteed to follow if our society doesn't stop using animals for food. So PETA pushed to close those markets by releasing footage that was taken by investigators who went inside and exposed the horrifying practices that are still in use in Cambodia, China, Indonesia, the Philippines, Thailand, and Vietnam. PETA's investigators also exposed unimaginable abuse taking place in the U.S., such as at a Walmart egg supplier where neglected chickens suffer and die in severely crowded cages, and at the Wisconsin National Primate Research Center where thousands of monkeys have been tormented and killed in painful, archaic experiments. New rule. Stop torturing monkeys. The National Institutes of Health has given $36 million to an experimenter who spends her days sawing open monkeys' skulls. It's up to all of us to stop cruelty to animals in the clothing industry by deciding never to buy anything that is stolen from animals. PETA is claiming a New Mexico couple is abusing animals used in movies and TV shows. We also put pigeon racers on the run around the globe and exposed the South African president's shocking connections to trophy hunting tourism. In addition to our investigative work, PETA also employs an emergency response team that handled more than 15,000 calls and emails for emergency assistance this year. PETA worked tirelessly to help animals like Capone, who was locked in a tiny wire cage when PETA field workers first found him. When he wasn't in the cage, he was tethered all alone on a filthy porch. For over a year, the field workers worked to improve Capone's life until one day he was finally surrendered to PETA and his life was changed forever. Capone now lives in sunny Florida with a loving family and a canine sister. He loves running free in the backyard and going for walks on the beach, and is finally getting the love and attention that he always deserved. Throughout this turbulent year and in the midst of so many other huge campaigns, PETA never stopped its hands-on efforts to help individual animals. People chain their dogs out like a yard ornament. They don't care for them, they don't feed them, people forget about their dogs. Dogs are social creatures and they want to be inside with their families. We help out people with their dogs that don't have money to take care of their dogs. The people are really poor. We are always going to do what's right for individual animals. We do it by necessity. We do it because we have to. A new law makes it illegal for dog owners to tether their animals outside in extreme weather. We gave more than 900 animals a chance at adoption, and our field workers provided thousands more with care, delivering over 200 free dog houses and more than 1,400 bales of straw for bedding. Our mobile clinics division spayed or neutered more than 13,000 cats and dogs. They've been invaluable to help us out, especially being troopers out here with this virus still doing their job. Thank you so much. Thank you. This is just a small sampling of everything that we accomplished this year. But if there was one thing that we proved in 2020, it was that PETA will never stop fighting to end all animal abuse, despite any and all obstacles that get in our way.